Today we're going to make spaghetti bolognese a la mija. For this recipe, you're going to need about one pound of ground beef, one basket of mushrooms, some uh, consomme, tomato paste, oregano, bay leaves, paprika, some chili peppers, garlic, and onion. So, I diced my onions, sliced my mushrooms, peeled my garlic, now I'm making my consomme, and I'm basically ready to start. So, turn on the oven. Put a little bit of oil. And I'm going to cook my onions. So now when my onion is slightly clear, but not mushed up yet, I'm going to add the garlic. And I'm going to add the mushrooms. Now I don't want to cook the mushrooms too long. I still want them to be a bit slightly crunchy, not like turn into mush. So I'm just going to wait for them to like sweat out a bit. And then I'm going to add the meat. trying to take the meat apart so it comes in smaller chunks. Okay, now the meat is all brown, as you can see. Now we're ready to add our tomato paste. Just gonna blend it in and then let it cook for about a minute or so without even stirring it. You have to be careful when you let it simmer so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Alright, so now it's the right consistency so I can add the consomme. Now, I don't want to drown my bolognese. I just want to cover it lightly with water so it doesn't really burn at the bottom. I'm just going to add a little bit. And check it out. That's not wet enough. Now this thing is going to cook for about three hours. So it's going to need a lot of liquids because it evaporates really fast. That should do it for now. You can use regular water. You can use uh, chicken or beef or onion consomme. I like the chicken because it gives it a little bit of flavor, but you have to be careful because it is salty. You don't want to add your salt until the end. So you know exactly how salty it is. You don't want to work in it for three hours and then too salty. So now, I'm going to turn down the fire. Just let it simmer. And cover it. You can see most of the water has been evaporated. 
So, I'm going to add some more. Now I've been stirring pretty frequently. You should stir pretty much as often as you can. Um, just to make sure that there's enough water and there's nothing sticking to the bottom. Uh, if anything happens and you do end up burning it, switch pots right away. Don't mix it into your food. Uh, and don't get lazy. Stir it as much as you can. This has been cooking for about half an hour now. I'm gonna add the spices. Um, you can basically add the spices whenever you want. Just uh, the salt at the end. Oh, is it the end? So, I have my oregano. Don't be shy with the oregano. Uh, about three bay leaves. One, two, three. About a tablespoon of paprika. And just a little bit of chili peppers. I'm gonna let it cook for a little bit and then I'm gonna taste it and see if I want to add something else or if I want some more oregano or whatever. Um, some people like to add other spices, maybe Tabasco sauce or curry or tarragon. Uh, it's really up to you, but this is my dad's original recipe. So, after three hours of stirring, adding liquid, and making sure it doesn't burn, our bolognese is finally ready to be served. Enjoy, and thanks for watching.